Hey you guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're talking about the new supply. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so you guys see the title. Five reasons not to be mad at the new supply. And I know some of y'all are probably just watching this to humor. Like, go ahead and humor me, Coach Lakia. Go ahead and humor me because, you know, this sounds like a bunch of BS to me right about now. Not be mad. This person has been disrespectful to me. They're over there on their ego, sitting on a high horse. They think it's going to be all sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for them to fall on their face. And then some of you, out of your toxicity, feel like, oh, they came and took my happiness. If it wasn't for them, I would still be in my relationship, which, you know, wasn't even satisfactory before they came. Okay. So, um, the new supply is usually a huge devastation to survivors early on when they're too externally focused and they're not having the proper perceptions or frame of mind of viewing the situation. You know, toxic questions like, well, what does he have that I don't? Or what does she have that I don't? Or why is the narcissist choosing them over me? What's wrong with me? And they're trying to measure themselves with this person. And, you know, it just adds additional conflict to an already heavy plate, just dealing with the narcissist alone, let alone, you know, bringing in, you know, what feel like their accomplice at that point. Like this was just a getaway driver. <laughs> the narcissist going to come over here and do all this to me and then right off into the sunset with them, you know, and it creates this huge disdain for that person. We don't know them, but we know that they are, you know, a piece of the puzzle right about now and we fill in their position, right? So, um, I know this, you guys, because I've talked to many survivors. I've talked to a lot of survivors and just reading the comments and then in coaching sessions, people have a lot. This is a hurdle. This is usually a massive hurdle um, and a piece of the puzzle in the healing process nine times out of 10 with survivors. So here we are. Here we are. I want to give you five reasons not to get mad at them. And I'm sure some of you want five reasons to get mad at them. And you might be like, you know, I already got the five reasons. I don't need you to give me five reasons to get mad at them. I already got that covered, right? But the whole thing here is what is my channel for? Increasing emotional maturity. So I'm always going to be telling you things from the standpoint of logic and not emotions. All right. So when we're in our emotional maturity and we think about why I wouldn't want you to be mad at the supply. Is there a positive logical reason why I wouldn't want you to be mad at the new supply? And we'll say new supplies in quotes because we know, you know, um, oftentimes they aren't that new. They were all raised behind the scene, right? And maybe they're just resurfacing or now it's more in the forefront now that you're not the primary source anymore. But think about that for a moment. Why wouldn't I want you to be mad at them? All right, that's what we're going to talk about right here. But the first thing I'm going to tell you right off the bat is if, if they're able to trigger you in that way, if they're able to get you to be mad at them, what do they become in that very second? They become a factor. They become relevant in some shape, form, or fashion. And I want them to be a non-factor. Okay, I want them to be a non-factor to you. Because what are we doing most of the times? We're in no contact from the narcissist most of the time. If we're not in no contact, we're gray rocking them. So if we're trying to stay away from the narcissist, but yet we are attaching because there's a form of attachment that's going on here once they're able to trigger us in that way. Now, someone close, very close to the narcissist has our attention, which kind of makes us susceptible to then putting our attention back on a narcissist. Okay? So this is why, you guys, I don't want you to be mad at them. This is the ultimate reason why. Because now they become a factor. And if they're becoming a factor and they're so closely tied to the narcissist, 
the narcissist is becoming a factor or still a factor at that point. Okay, so I want you to see the connection here and why I don't want you to have that. But on top of the ultimate reason, here are five reasons why you don't need to be mad at that new supply. All right. Number one, the new supply can't take what want it to stay. Meaning, you know, if a woman or a man wanted to be faithful and loyal to you, it doesn't matter what anybody external does. They're going to send them away. They're going to stay by your side. So the new supply, like I said, can't take someone that wants to stay. All right. That's pretty straightforward. What's for you is for you, basically. Okay. When we want to look at that, what's for you is really for you. So if they decided to leave, it wasn't for you. And that's okay. There's billions of other people in the world. They're not the end all be all. They're not your maker, right? But ultimately, the new supply can't take somebody that wants to leave. Or in other instances, um, if you discarded the narcissist, don't worry about who they get with next. You're done with them. Your time with them is done. They weren't good enough for you. All right. So if they gravitate towards someone else who has a similar energy as them, then, you know, now that person has to do what they have to do. They're going to have some lessons to learn as well. But you've been there and you've done that. So yet again, the new supply can't take something that wants to leave. The second thing on here is if it wasn't them, it was going to be someone else anyway. You know, we're really personalizing it to that one particular person. But trust me, if the narcissist couldn't get them to go along with it, they would have tried someone else and they would have kept going <laughs> until they found somebody that was going to give in to them. You know, we know that narcissists treat people like items, objects that they can put on a bookshelf and take off, trade in and trade out. So if it wasn't them, it was just going to be someone else. It just happens to be them. Okay. Number three, chances are this new supply is in their ignorance at this point. Um, and like I was mentioning, they're going to now have the opportunity to learn the same lessons that you had to learn. All right. So these people are ignorant. They don't know what they're getting into and they have some lessons that they have to learn. Number four. Actually, the new supply is helping you close the cycle of abuse. <laughs> you know, um, you know how many people are getting stalked by the narcissist and then the narcissist could be with the new supply and still trying to see, have one foot in the door with you or get their foot back in the door with you. Yes, that can happen. But a lot of times they go to this person and they're love bombing. This person is actually giving you, um, helping you keep your no contact. It's a lot easier to keep no contact when the narcissist's attention is elsewhere. So they're actually helping you close the cycle of abuse. They're actually helping you. And this is very actually precious to you because the longer, um, the more distance that you're able to put between you and the narcissist early on, the quicker you can heal from that trauma bond and chances are the soul tie that you probably um, made while you were with them. Okay, so they're actually helping you in the healing process by being the distraction to keep the narcissist over there somewhere. So it actually is a help to you. All right, and number five on my list, you guys, is they actually help you expose the narcissist. Hey, how else are you going to find out that they're a cheater than when they cheat? How else are you going to find out their disloyalty? All right. And a lot of times we have our discernment and, and our guts are telling us, you know, something isn't quite checking out in this situation here. 
or you know this person is being inconsistent some days they're available some days they're not their phone is always turned down or oh, they're suddenly sending me to voicemail oh they're calling off the arrangements they made with me at the last minute or they're just spending less time with me because they're giving it to someone else now you know there's a whole bunch of other clues of course but what's more obvious than an actual person knowing that they're actually doing this and you can put a face to it so the new supply is actually helping you to expose what you're really dealing with here and how unworthy they actually are all right you guys so that's five reasons right there to not be mad at the new supply let me know what you think down here in the comments if this video resonated with you if this video has helped change your perceptions at all let me know and make sure you hit the like button, all right? Hit the subscribe button, of course, and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload content, which is actually quite frequently, you guys. There's three different bells that you can hit, so make sure you're hitting the first one um, to get notified. All right, you guys. Um, all too often, we're just too externally focused uh, when it's all said and done. And really, the relationship with the narcissist was to bring us back closer with ourselves, not to be um, heavily concerned or really concerned at all at what the narcissist is doing over there and who they're doing it with and what they're doing. All right. Really, the focus needs to be back on you. All right, if you're struggling with this, I do offer coaching, you guys. You can visit my website, LakiaCrawford.com, and schedule your session. All right, I do voice calls. I do FaceTime. I do email coaching. I've written four therapeutic books that can help you fill the voids as well, give you a lot of pearls of wisdom, emotional maturity, and relationship advice. So you can get those at Amazon and Barnes & Noble's. Um, they're available on ebook and hard copy. If you want signed copies, you can get that through my website. All right. With that being said, you guys, I do have the two support groups. One is public and one is private. Those links are below down in the description and they are on Facebook. All right. You can always check my website for anything else that I have going on. If you want to become a monthly contributor, um, to the work that I do here, you can join me on Patreon and get some beautiful perks back for supporting the work that I do here on the channel. It's also a great way to get a discount on the services that I provide, especially if you've been financially abused by the narcissist and you want to get personal coaching. All right. With that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support that you're showing the channel. And what do I say at the end of all of my videos? Never give up on yourself. Continue to do the work. And until next time, please take care.